Now to taking the temperature of Texas. The UT Texas Tribune's regular polls are pretty insightful about us. The most recent one released over the last few days showed President Trump would narrowly lose to somebody else. It measured opinions on vaccinations, on voter fraud, and school finance and property taxes as well. There is a lot to digest. That's why we call on Ross Ramsey, the co-founder and executive editor of the Texas Tribune. Good morning to you, Ross. Good morning. How are you, Jason? We're, we're doing well. Let's talk about this. Somebody else would beat Trump in Texas, but just barely. This has to have Republicans a little rattled considering what happened uh, with Beto O'Rourke. It's a little tight. It's, you know, statistically, it's a tie. It's 51-49. That's within the margin of error. But it tells the Republicans and the Democrats that Texas might be in play in 2020. And it's not a state that's been in play in most presidential races. It's a very expensive place to run. Usually the campaigns from both sides come down here and get money to spend in places like Iowa and New Hampshire. And this time they might have to spend some of it here just to defend themselves. And, you know, we haven't really seen Democratic uh, candidates for years, even Republican candidates campaigning down here. Do you think we'll see that over the next year and a half? I think if we continue to see numbers like this, we will. If they think that Texas could go one way or the other, then it'll be like any other swing state where they have to come down and contest. I don't think it'll be a first level state. Yeah. I think the fight will mostly be in other states, but I think they'll be looking over their shoulder the whole time. Briefly, want to ask you about the lawmakers uh, in Austin with a bunch of bills aimed at Hurricane Harvey and future disasters as well. Right. $1.8 billion is what it all adds up to. Where's the money coming from? Well, the controller came in the day before the legislative session started and said they're going to have $9 billion more in state revenue than they thought they would or than they did two years ago. Most of that, all of it in the House budget, but most of it's going to school finance right. and to property tax relief. But they're trying to set aside some money from the rainy day fund for Harvey relief. All right. Sounds good, Ross. Back to you in a moment. Our next